What is the space exuding? What do we feel when we walk in? I would describe this house almost as an immersive experience in the interplay of design and art. So art for some people is a showcase of their broad influences. For some it is used as a part of the decor. The clients desired a very clean modern home. I think the house is a true representation of their personality. The mood that we went for here was minimalistic and elegant. I'm Monica, founder of Beyond Spaces. It's a design studio based out of Hyderabad. This villa is part of a gated community. It's in Jaiberi Temple Tree Villas, which is in Narsinghi. It's a 17-acre project, and this is one of the villas. So for the clients, I think art was not something that was chosen randomly. Clients wanted to buy art that had a value for them. After all, it's their home. They want to give an essence of who they are. So the total built-up area of the house is 6,300 square feet. We wanted to keep the plan very open and airy. So if you can see the walls and the flooring is kept bare white. And then we used a lot of color with respect to the furniture and the elements to sort of arrive at the design narrative. The design narrative, I would explain it as very subdued, understated and also elegant. It has a west facing entrance where the primary road also is of the community. And once we enter, this is where the foyer wall is where we wanted to have like a statement piece as you walk in. One of the most prominent artwork is the Lord Hanuman as we enter the house. It sets the tone for the rest of the house. You know that this house is a showcase. On the northeast side, there's a dedicated parking space that was given by the builder. But since there was no common area for the clients to use to entertain guests and get in people, we converted this entire space into a multi-purpose kambar area, which also opens out into an outdoor deck. So apart from the fixed furniture here, which is very set within the space, we wanted to actually add a playful element, which is the swing. So the swing is actually quite interesting because it's sorts of you can either sit this way or you can turn it up and also sit this way facing the outside garden. So it's a very flexible design. So this entire multi-purpose room that we created has a different vibe. We sort of went with a grey theme and fluted panelling all across the walls. We worked with a metal artist and we got this artwork which is a sculpture of a man, a bearded man which is purely made out of scrap metal. The primary circulation is through the staircase. We have a 35 feet long living space. So the space was a challenge in itself to how we divide the furniture. So we decided to go ahead with dividing the room into two halves. So here we have accommodated like an L and some seating here with a TV unit. So to grab the attention of the people sitting here to create a sense of interest and to add in a pop of color, we worked with the ceramic artist to do these 12 pieces which are done like in different colors and different sizes and shapes to add a bit of layering and give the wall a character and also in addition give a pop of color to the console which really enhances the artwork as well. So from the living room, we go into the double height space, which is the light well of the house. So there's a lot of light coming in. We also did cladding of a natural uh, grey stone so that it really complements the volume of the space. So I think the proportions also really mattered in the double height. We obviously had to go 
for a very big scale to command the attention of the viewer while passing by every element we have tried to bring it in especially in this space had to give like a statement and uh, become bigger so even with the antique horse or chandelier by floss it really brings out the essence of the volume of the double height so as you can see there are a lot of openings all across the exterior wall which brings in a lot of daylight that reflects off the white flooring so we actually took a decision to enclose this window and actually panel it with wood and give it a wallpaper so it sorts of acts as a backdrop for the dining area the wooden ceiling above the dining is done in a herringbone patch so the dining space in the first floor has a 10 seat a long dining table for gatherings so the ground and the first floor are more of the public common areas and the second floor is where the residents actually reside with their uh, bedrooms so the master bedroom is quite straightforward in terms of its approach it has a four poster bed for the clients we gave a wallpaper backdrop which is again uh, a bit on the traditional front which has indian motifs The master bedroom also opens out into an outdoor partially enclosed balcony. So there is no designated space that is given for the puja room in the entire house. There was this nook on the second floor which we thought of converting it into a puja space. There's a glass railing that was given all across the three sides on the second floor. So here we actually built a room with wooden rafters, keeping it slightly transparent and using a lot of wood and brass strips to sort of create an enclosure for the prayer room. So I think this villa was designed with a very artistic approach. So the selection of the art was also very mindful. I would say because the clients believe in art as an investment. So I think there's a lot of thought that has gone into it although it might not look that way because sometimes you know artwork can look flashy and expensive but it does add a lot of character.